mercy. We find grace. We find mercy. The Bible says in the Old Testament, why do we need grace and mercy? Because he remembers our frame, that we are but dust. He's sympathetic to our weaknesses. Heck, he knows that. When he made Adam and Eve, what he made, well, when he made Adam, what did he make him out of? Dirt, right? He, he knows. He knows our weaknesses. And since the fall of man, thank you, Eve. I mean, thank you, Adam. Since the, <laughs> since the fall of man, we, we have inherent weaknesses morally and spiritually. In our flesh dwelleth no good thing. And the Bible says he's sympathetic to our weaknesses. He remembers our frame, that we are but dust. We approach a throne of grace to find help. Help, help. God will help us. Help, Lord. I think that's one of the most powerful verses. A lot of times your most powerful prayers are the short one. Save me. Help me. Right? Jesus! Sometimes we, we, you know, when we're so desperate, we put aside, now I approach to you in the name of Jesus, to the gracious Heavenly Father, of, you know, cut through all that. And if we're desperate enough, oh, God, help me. And God sees the cry of help, and the Bible says he'll give you help. He'll send you help from the sanctuary. That's the presence of God. And uh, Jesus says it's expedient or necessary that it go away, that I might send you a helper which is the Holy Spirit. When you approach the throne of grace, you'll find help, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Oh, he'll help us. He'll help us. The Holy Spirit is God's best gift. How much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Many times in my prayer I say, oh, Lord, just please, Give me the Holy Spirit here, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation, the spirit of righteousness, the, the spirit of comfort, the, the spirit of power, just the, the spirit of healing, just this Holy Spirit that, that can just minister to whatever need I want. More than anything, rather than answers, you need God himself. Right? We, we need God himself. Every single day. And he promises that if we come to the throne of grace boldly in Christ, then he'll give us grace, mercy. And the thing about mercy, he's rich in mercy. He doesn't run out. And help. The help he gives us is the Holy Spirit. What is your need? The Bible says that he'll give us fine grace to help in time of need. Uh, some translations literally interpret it this way. The time of need means at the right time or just in time. At the right time or just in time. And Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 says, He does everything just right and on time. That's a new century version. He does everything just right and on time. That's Ecclesiastes 3, verse 11. And the New King James says it makes everything beautiful in his time. But I like this one. He does everything just right and on time. Just when you need it, he is there. God's time is different than our time. I understand that. But there is a time for our need, right? I need you, God. And at the right time, God's time, just in time, he comes through with grace, mercy, and help. The Bible says he'll supply all of our need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. The Bible says that God has a hand, anthropomorphic, you know, God's hand. We ascribe human features to God. That's what I mean. The Bible says he opens his hand and satisfies the need or desires of every living thing. When you approach the throne of grace, you look full in his face, and he opens his hand. So the throne of grace is not with cleansed fist holding back, but God opening his hands to give us everything we need.